Welcome to Interbike 2013, day three, first day of the show, Las Vegas. Let's go. So I was cruising around, found the Pedego booth, and look at this, they're teaming up with Ford, as in Ford, the company that makes cars, Ford, the company that offers a truck in any color as long as it's black, just like this bike, and it's awesome. Whoa, it's, so the battery's built like right onto the fender. Really crazy. So it's using a lot of the same kind of stuff that Pedego's known for. Can you tell me about the, the motor? What size motor is that? The same motor on the trail tracker. Same motor. So is that like a 500 watt? It's a 600 watt? watt geared motor. 600 watt geared. I should, I should know this. Oh my yeah. gosh. That is, uh, that's amazingly powerful. 48 yeah. volt battery 48 then? volt battery. Uh, it's going to be throttle activated. Throttle activated up here. Got that nice chain guard. Beautiful. Disc brakes. And do you know how much this weighs? It weighs about 60 pounds. I'm at the Joshua Tree skincare booth. This stuff's pretty cool. It's all natural, organic. It's kind of got that beeswax, lip balm stuff. And they've got this, it's like a face stick. This is really awesome. So if it's windy and, and you're getting like a dry face, it's SPF 15, like skiing and stuff. Or they've got the hot sun stick. And it's sweet because you can put this on without getting your hands all greasy and stuff. Uh, we all know what that's like. I, I'm going to try some of this. Will you Will you film me for a second, yeah, David? Absolutely. Okay. So you guys are out of Michigan, you said? Yeah, we're in southeast Michigan. Southeast Gotta Michigan. make everything by hand there. And okay. Oh, so this is, the, oh. this is the sun stick. Sun stick. It's like uh, Zinka, but it goes on clear. Oh. Am I doing it? Do you just put it anywhere? Yeah, I like this. the sun's going to hit you. This is sweet. Yeah, <laughs> Thank right? you. I should probably be in the media area. <laughs> This is kind of interesting. They've got a bottle cage called the Wedgie. <laughs> Sweet. A women's lounge. I'm here with Reggie. I'm checking out a new brand called Core. It's out of Los Angeles and it's for like endurance athletes, women. You can see all the all the lady mannequins around here. And uh, one of the interesting things they've done here is they've like extended the chamois so you don't get the, the crease down there, which I, I know I've I've had that issue when I'm riding my bike and you're pedaling. It's just, it's not super comfortable. They've also got that yoga waistband here so you don't get that muffin top. Now come over here, there's this this one right here. What What is this? This one's so lightweight, it's like I can't hardly even see it. This is a really... It's, this is really more of a marketing this ploy. This is a mar marketing we, ploy. We've heard that scantily dressed women work well in Vegas. Oh, okay. I'm at the Easy Motion booth. So this is the Neo Cross and I've reviewed this. It's an awesome bike. It's got that front shock with lockout and everything. This, it's like, it's a step-through version of that, right? It is, so, it is. a little bit smaller and... It, it, it's exactly like the cross, uh huh. but as you can see, it is a, a low step-through. Step-through. So it's the first, this is the first step-through specific frame you've got besides maybe kind of the city look. Uh, so check this out. They've got the Bosch system on some of the new Easy Motion bikes too. These are just sweet. I rode them yesterday actually. The, a couple other companies doing this, mid-drive really balanced, low center of gravity. This one actually has a 27.5 inch wheels. And then we've got one here that's more like street tires and then a 29er with the rock shocks and everything. Upgraded XT components. I'm really excited to test these out on the trail. I think my favorite part is this, this nice little, it's like little shark fins going around and around. What normal is. <laughs> no, no, no. So I was back at the Pedego booth checking out that Ford electric bike. I mean, it just really awesome. And then I found Dwayne here from Blue Monkey Bicycles here in Salt Lake City. Do you sell bicycles or monkeys? What's I, the deal? No, I sell bicycles. I'm the first Pedego dealer in Utah. Really? Oh um, my gosh. When did you they, open? I We opened in March of this year. In March. Are people just right like lined up snow. waiting for the... Very right exciting. after the snow went away. So. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could put some spikes on this thing or some tracks. I don't know. You got any creative ideas for I that, Dwayne? I had customers uh, wanting to figure out how we can replace the front forks with skis. With skis? Really? So we may try Have that. Have they tried it? Has Just anyone tried it? No, it's a theory, but we may try that. So Man, it's we're, coming. We're who says you can't ride your bike in the wintertime when it's icy? This is for, for all you Canadians out there. Check it out. These are called grip studs, and you actually put them in your own tire, and I guess you'd want, like, an oversized tire like this. You just, you know, stick it in, twist it, stick it in, twist it, and you, you put them in, and, and then you can be like this this giant corkscrew when you ride your bike in the mountains. Pretty cool. Sounds like 100 bucks for one of these kits. Razor scooters. Yes. I saw a ton of these at Outdoor Demo Day. It's just like a giant tricycle for adults. 
to go crazy with. Always admired the Brompton folding bicycles. Super small, super lightweight, high end, very expensive. And you can electrify these things. Get yourself like a Bionics kit. I think Nice Wheels sells them. Pretty cool. At the Pro Deco booth. I got to try several of these bikes the other day at Demo Day. And uh, there's a few more here. Got the Oasis. Looks sort of the same with the battery pack off the end. Here's that big Outlaw EX with the giant bomber setup. Yeah, wow, they've got several Outlaw SS, SE. Interesting. Folding electric bike. Wow, this is a big folding electric bike. That's crazy. Front, front hub motor. You got a lot of bikes to review. <laughs> cool. Water bottle batteries. Look at that. I don't know if that is a Prodeco. Is that a Prodeco bike right there? Yes, absolutely. Really? Okay, I found Robert. He's giving me the lowdown. This is called the Scorpion, and they've got a single motor version or a double motor all-wheel drive electric bike version. I guess it sounds like each motor is 250 watts. They run in tandem. You're powering them off of these little water bottle batteries. Can you tell me the spec on the water bottle battery real quick? Uh, they're 36 volt, 9 amp batteries. Okay. Um, bike has plenty of power. We designed this bike. It's an American made frame uh -huh. by a company called Volcanic. And uh, it's designed to be a police bike, to go up and down stairs. And... Really? Yeah. You're going to get busted by cops on something like this. That's, that's, I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of sad. But they're pretty well priced. I think one of them is like $26.99 and the other one was like $30 something. Come on. Touch screens. Uh, they're, oh, swipe. $39.99. Okay, sweet. And they're out in 2014? Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay. Scorpion. <laughs> wow, so this is a 500 watt Rebel X, but there's a, a Rebel X2 coming out with two 750 watt motors. Oh my gosh. How much is that thing going to weigh? probably close to 90 pounds. 90 pound bike, but it's going to be a monster. And we got another little folder over here. So yeah, it's a lot going on in Pro Deco. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cool cycle dog. They've got this cute little turtle. He's made of recycled tires and you can fill him with peanut butter for your dog. Don't eat me. Check this out. High power cycles. This is the revolution. It's a 5,000 watt air cooled sensor adjusted uh, gearless rear hub motor. Does this have like regenerative braking or anything like that? It will. It will. It will. This is the, we literally it's like a just prototype. caught off the press uh, yesterday at 12. We finished it. I had a chance to check this out at Demo Day briefly. Basically, iZip, a company run by Curry Technologies, has a new bike called the E3 Peak, and they're making their own mid drive system. All the other mid drive systems I've seen are Bosch. Uh, created and actually the high bike which is another curry brand is also Bosch system but uh, it's exciting to, to see see this developments and sort of branching out so not every bike is gonna have the exact same system Woo! the new outdoor racetrack at Interbike lots of fun now this <laughs> is eye-catching it's like I, I don't even know. I'm definitely going to get more information on this. It's like super narrow pizza pie hub motor. This is a cool company, Psychological. They got a bunch of fun t-shirts and these neat reflector things. You just put them on like those colorful things when you were a kid, but these ones are reflective, so your wheels end up looking like big, bright pizzas. Look at all these snacks. Bananas. Look at this. Did you see Pulp Fiction? Turkey. What is this? No. Fruit? No, have you seen Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction? No. You haven't seen Pulp Fiction? Uh-uh. $5 milkshake. Watch it. <laughs> this is a $3 banana. Wow, I'm going to have to edit it's, that. <laughs> it's a discounted banana. Normally, they're a 5 That's a lot, but look how... That looks wonderful. Can you just take a bite? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, man. That's saucy right there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to try this? Are you? I can give you the helmet. You can hop on. Is that allowed? <laughs> if I do that, they'd get mad at me. They'd get mad at you. Okay, well, maybe after work. I'll have to check what it out. That's annoying. Ah! I found the Onda Ride booth again. I saw these guys at last year's Interbike. It's basically just these cool cargo trailers. You can fit a bunch of stuff in them. You can have them skinned. Check this one out. Colorado colors. Oh, yeah. 
back back home style. This is really cool. And if you've got an electric bike, you know you've got the extra power to pull something like this, and, and it you know, keeps it clean, it keeps it out of the rain. What's the coolest part about this product? Lockability. Lockability. And customization. Customization. Awesome. That's two things, but we'll take it. I just think this is pretty. The Cliff Bar booth has flowers and an egg beater chandelier. I saw this Rocket 44 looking logo, it caught my attention, and then I met this guy, Robin Slayton, out of Fort Collins. How's it going? Good, you guys have some cool stuff. This is like a one of several pumps you carry, but it's got a pressure gauge built right in, and it's adaptive, the Presta and Schrader, of course. Oh, cool, and it's got this high pressure switch down here. So what, what does that do? How does... Actually, it goes high pressure, high volume, so it's actually a two-stage pump. Oh. Instead of a one-stage. Got it's it. It's like a road or mountain, right? Can you, what, what is, can you do that again? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's annoying. So I was really hot because it's it's like blazing out here in Las Vegas. I found this real X Gear tent, and then this thing here. It's the extreme cooling towel. It's sort of like a chamois, but I guess it's like a plastic material. Yes. Plastic material. Okay, and you just you get it a little bit wet. You put it around your neck like so, right that, and it actually it's really it's really cool. You know, you don't need a fan, you don't need an air conditioner or anything like that. It, but basically the way it works is. The water that's in here, it's a liquid. And as it touches your skin and heats up, it evaporates, it turns into a gas. And that requires energy to make that phase change. And so that's what makes you feel cool. It's actually taking heat from your body and evaporating that water. So check this out. I'm at the Power Bar station. They've got real fruits, real fruits. And then look at this, fruits in a little bottle for in your pockets and stuff. How do you guys get all that fruit into there? How does that work? It is magic. Magic? Magic. <laughs> it's pretty good. It does taste like bananas and blueberries. That's good because that is the flavor. Even in Las Vegas, they got grackles. Michael Jackson. <laughs> this could be the future of taking your kids to school. One on the front with a windshield and like a little binky bear and one in the back. I'm gonna go check out the test track. If there's anything you'd like me to dig into tomorrow, sound off in the comments and I'll get some more info.